Hi guys, it is Liz here, and I am back with another Daily Dose of Guidance. As per usual, my intention is to start with the Energy Oracle cards uh, to receive our message of guidance for today. We shall see if those cards want to give us a message today, or if they... I do have other decks here, so in case we need to expand, switch decks, okay? So we have that here. Okay, so let's see what message wants to come through. Hopefully, the energy oracle cards, but we shall see. <laughs> also had Misty here, but I wasn't paying her as much attention because I was going into a meditative state, so she was just like, you know what? I'm going to go sunbathe. Luna's also awake, but off to the side here. Chances are we will see her take her loud, disgusting bath behind me, as per usual. But we shall see. We shall see. So I have already called on, uh, you know, Divine Wisdom, the Archangels, Spirit Guides, all that jazz. So let's see. Maybe who wants to come through or maybe they come together to give us one message. Let's just see what happens. Might want to switch decks. We'll see. Hopefully it's not another one of those... Ones where it takes me 17 minutes to get to the dang point. <laughs> that was not fun. Okay, so. Let's see. I also have, so we have the Energy Oracle cards here. I also have the Chakra cards, uh, ast Astrology cards, Soul Coaching cards, and uh, the Archangel Metatron cards um, off to the side here, so. So far, it doesn't seem like the message wants to come through the Energy Oracle card, so I might have to switch to one of the others. Hmm, let's see. Which one? Maybe the Metatron cards? We haven't really tapped into those too much lately. Let's see. Hmm, maybe we'll switch it out to the Metatron cards and see what message of guidance specifically uh self-mastery but we'll see we'll see what comes up you know i'm going to switch it out okay so let's try the metatron cards see what happens okay see if the message once that comes through wants to yep right away boom so there we go so there we go okay so right away we have water Okay, so you can see that. Water, okay, and emotional well-being, okay, which is not surprising since it's a water sign here. Hmm, let me just take a look at this card here. Okay, so we do have a dolphin here. Now, this is giving me, uh, even though it's a dolphin, it gives me strong uh, Pisces vibes. So we'll see if anything else wants to come up through that. But we have the dolphin who is incredibly intelligent um, and known to be very, very playful. They can also be very protective, though. They can also be very protective. Okay. So let's see what else wants to come through. Maybe expand upon this. Um, or maybe, maybe we can expand upon it. Or maybe it'll go straight to guidance for emotional well-being okay so this is going to be connected to that emotional body in the um, subtle body energy system okay okay and interesting okay so we have yellow okay and on the side here it says joy and happiness okay so tapping in most definitely tapping into that emotional well-being okay with this sort of um sun you know very sunny yellow um solar plexus chakra type of energy here okay so we got that joy and happiness uh, in regards to that um emotional well-being okay so again, we're, uh, we've been getting a message lately about um, that sort of sun energy, that masculine energy, the solar plexus chakra, okay? So let's see. 
Okay, and I'm also getting with this B on the on here. Okay, we have a B there if you can see that. Okay, so I'm feeling like this might also be a call to sort of spread the joy. Okay, that's going to help with that um, with your own um, whether that's your motivation or not. Okay, that's you know going to affect your emotional well-being. Okay, spreading that uh, joy and happiness. Okay, not just necessarily keeping it for yourself. Okay, so spreading it around. You know, being the light, as Gabrielle Bernstein says. Let's see, so spreading that around. So again, with that dolphin, we have that uh, energy of like play. Okay, so tapping into that play energy, um, that childlike um, energy. Hmm, let's see what else wants to come through. We might switch decks here just to get a little bit more here, but it very, very much feels like this might even be a call to like go and like go outside, <laughs> you know, like if it's sunny out, if it's, you know, um, like let's see here for me right now, it is rather sunny. Yesterday it was not, it was very overcast and chilly. Okay. But, uh, Today there's a lot of sunshine, so today might be a good day for me to go for a walk, okay? Just go for a walk around the neighborhood, right? Social distancing. Uh, but, and this may be uh, for you as well. This may be, it might be a, you know, just a beautiful day to go for a walk. Maybe go, um, if you have uh, children, maybe go play with your children. Or if you have, oh, here we go. If you have a, a, a dog or something like that, you can go outside and play with your dog. Right, so tapping into that, like being outside and in play. Okay, what else do we have? Ooh, okay. So we also have love. Okay, so heart chakra, clearly. We've got that love. Okay. Relationships and harmony. Okay, so we're bringing that energy into, again, that spreading, that spreading around, okay, of that joy and happiness. So really tapping into... Um, and it doesn't have to be like romantic relationship, okay? It can be, okay? But not necessarily, okay? This is, it could be any kind of relationship here. Um, and bringing in um, that energy of harmony and balance, okay? But really tapping into um, sharing that energy of happiness and joy within your relationships, okay? It might not just be like a specific relationship, it just your relationships, okay? So your, could be your romantic partner, um, you know, relationship with your children, coworkers, your pets, okay? Uh, just family, all that jazz, okay? Just straight across the board, just tapping into that sort of expansive uh, energy of joy and happiness for your emotional, for your and their emotional well-being, okay? And bringing in that energy of harmony within your relationships, okay? Hmm. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that wants to come through. I mean, that yeah, it seems rather straightforward for today. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Got a couple here. Okay, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is going to aid you in tapping into that. If this is something that you're not like already in, right? If this is not an energy you're already in, you're, you're kind of resistant to it, okay? So we have letting go, okay? And on the side here, time for release, okay? So if this energy is not already available to you, okay? Which, I mean, it's always available to you. You can always, you know, make the choice, right? But if you're in an energy where you're kind of holding on to something, okay, maybe um, some kind of resentment, even if it's just low key, okay, it doesn't have to be something that like is, um, you know, completely blocking, you know, causing any kind of major damage here, okay, um, but just some, it could even be just low key, maybe you had an argument with uh, a loved one, right, and so it's kind of making, getting into this energy of, you know, you know harmony, and, you know, spreading that happiness and joy and uh, emotional well-being might be causing a little bit of a, you know, that might be making it a little more difficult to tap into that energy if maybe you just were in an argument with that person, okay? Something like that. It could be much more, okay? It's that scale. It could be much more. Maybe it's just that low-key, I just had an argument with this person. There is not currently an energy of harmony, okay? So it's saying, 
Maybe you want to forgive and let go, okay, and move forward with this energy. Create, you know, create a genuine sense of harmony here, okay? Now let's see what else came up here. Ooh, okay. So we have Kundalini. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's untapped energy, okay? So that's what this one is speaking to, is that untapped energy. So you might be in that energy right now of um, emotional maybe instability, okay? Like those lower chakras, okay? Maybe that unhealthy um, energy within the lower chakras. Specifically, I'm going to say probably the uh, root and sacral chakras, okay? They're the most earth-based material world, okay? And... Um, so the root chakra is the most related to the material world, okay, the, you know, what we see, physically experience, all that jazz, okay. And then the sacral chakra is going to speak into that emotional well-being or emotional instability, okay. There could be an imbalance happening here where you have some emotional instability happening, okay. So let's see. Okay, and so for me, uh, Kundalini is really about the, because you can even see it's the rising. Kundalini is a rising of energy, okay? So we have that serpent energy, you know, kind of snoozing, napping in our root chakra, okay? And then um, as the story goes, you know, you, you kick the snake, right? You smack the snake, wakes up, and it goes up through the Shishamna, Shishamna Nadi, Okay. And then comes up, kisses the crown chakra, and boom, enlightenment, okay? That's the most basic. I do have a course on Kundalini Awakening. So if you really, if this is something that's unfamiliar to you and you're like, Liz, what are you talking about? Go check out my uh, Kundalini Awakening course on Udemy. Um, I can link it in the description if you're interested. Okay, but that is like, you know, the, the sentence basically of Kundalini Awakening or rising, okay? So... You might be in that energy right now of, it could be the kundalini has already, you kicked the snake, all right, it's already started going up, but it got kind of stuck, right? It woke up, but that's kind of as far as it seems to have gotten. You woke it up, but it didn't, it's still, there's like a, that imbalance. It's having a hard time, you know, getting up there, okay, coming up through, okay? So it's somewhere in between. Um, that root and sacral chakra, okay? That energy is kind of stuck in there, okay? That kundalini energy, okay? So you're kind of, that's as far as you've kind of gotten um, emotionally, is you're still kind of stuck in that root chakra, sacral chakra energy, okay? Still very, very earth-based, material, material world kind of energy, okay? So... We want to look into having that emotional balance, okay? That's really what this one is talking about in this case. It's tapping into and getting that emotional balance, um, emotional intelligence here, okay? So let's see. So we're tapping into, in order to help kind of balance this energy out, because we're in this um, imbalanced uh, sacral, or, yeah, sacral chakra, okay? So there's an emotional imbalance there. So we want to bring that into balance. And um, so some of the ways we can do this, okay, is tapping into the energies of the chakras because they're all connected. So I'm going to say the ones that are closest to it. So the root chakra and the solar plexus chakra. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it could also um, be coming into because we have um, the bridge so we have that heart chakra, okay, and this is the bridge between the material world and the spiritual world, okay, that those lower chakras and the upper chakras, okay, and so it could be also saying in order to balance out this emotional the imbalance that you also want to tap into um, those, um, I would say probably, hmm, so you want the grounded energy, you want the grounded energy uh, and the stability of the root chakra, okay, to help you balance out this um, imbalance in the sacral, okay, and then you want to tap into that joy and happiness, that expansion, that sun 
energy, okay, of the um, solar plexus chakra. This is also speaking into your inner strength because we've been getting this a lot lately. So we're tapping into that inner strength, confidence, like the healthy, balanced energies of this solar plexus chakra, okay? So that's the inner strength, confidence, self-worth, self-value, expansion, okay? It's that masculine energy, um, again, of you know, let that be spreading it around, okay? Spreading around that sunshine, okay? Sunshine, these are Leo and Aries energies. They're very expansive and um, sometimes that can be a little foolhardy, okay? A little impulsive. It's not a bad thing, okay? So we may want to tap into that a little bit, okay? Have a little bit of fun, right? Tap into that fun energy, okay? Um, they can be very boisterous. Oh my God, they can be very boisterous. They're so loud sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes they're very, they're vocally loud. Sometimes their energy is just very, again, expansive and loud. Okay. And tapping into that play energy. Oh my gosh. Do Leos and Aries love to play? Okay. So we're tapping into that play energy. Okay. Of that solar plexus chakra. Okay. And then again, we have that heart chakra, which is going to help you in balancing. Okay. This emotional imbalance. Okay. Okay and um, help you to um, it's naturally healing naturally transmuting okay so you want to tap into that heart chakra as well tap into that energy of balancing okay um, let's see what else okay coming into that energy of heart of emotional harmony okay it does say relationships and harmony which is great Okay, but we want to start here first. Okay, we go in and then we expand out. Okay, so we want to go in and create um, emotional, internal, okay, balance and harmony, emotional harmony. Okay, and then we can expand it outward. Okay, and then we can share it with others. Excuse me. So we do have this water energy here. Again, that's emotional well-being, but water is also very, um, like, go with the flow, very fluid. It's very feminine energy, okay? And water is also um, the element of the sacral chakra, okay? So that's kind of where that comes from. So it's also nurturing, it's playful, it's creative, okay? So we want to tap into those energies as well in order to balance out the emotional imbalance, that you may be um, feeling right now or going through right now okay <clears throat> let's see okay okay so you may also this kundalini card is also catching my eye and saying oh, see the loud disgusting bath every time it's just so nasty okay so the kundalini energy is also speaking into you might want to actually look into, again, my course with Kundalini Awakening, um, but also um, if this is something you're already familiar with, or maybe or maybe not, or maybe you start with my course and then go from there, okay, uh, to tap into um, Kundalini Yoga, like doing Kundalini Yoga, or even some kind of yoga practice. It doesn't even have to be specifically Kundalini, okay? It could just be a Kundalini or a yoga practice that's going to help you okay uh with this balancing this emotional um balancing okay um that could also be uh i would say probably hatha yoga is probably going to be your uh a good bet for that balancing okay but you might also want to look at yin yoga which is a feminine type of energy okay i'm, I'm mentioning yin yoga because of this water feminine energy okay and the, the sacral chakra being feminine, okay? So you might want to check out yin yoga um, to help you, again, with that emotional balance. Or maybe hatha or kundalini yoga um, practice. Now, this could be, you know, the kriyas and asanas, but it could just be the philosophies as well. Um, for me personally, I am very um, passionate about the kundalini uh, yoga philosophies versus the actual like kundalini um, like the 
the physical parts of it, the Kriyas and the Asanas, okay? Just to put all the cards on the table. So, and I do like to do like the, oh, here she comes. Okay, I like to do the mudras. I'm into doing uh, like the, um, the mantras, like I said, the philosophies. The actual asanas and kriyas are not really my jazz, to be honest. I'm more of a hatha girl, but, um, <laughs> hi, Luna, but find what's going to work for you, okay? So it could be the yoga practice, like the, the asanas and the kriyas, okay, the poses, um, it, or it could be, again, the philosophies, like myself, you know, the philosophies, the maybe the mudras, the mantras, okay? Hi, I'm kind of doing something here. <laughs> I don't care. I'm a Gemini. I don't care. Pay attention to me. <laughs> okay, so that could also be helpful to you as well. Okay, but I'm going to uh, wrap it up here. <laughs> uh, so that is our message for today. I'm going to wrap it up here. Okay, uh, I will mention really quickly, again, I am a spiritual life coach. Uh, spiritual life coach, Reiki master, and advanced angel therapist. Uh, so if you need some help in any of those areas, give me a shout, DM me, or email me at spirituallycharged at gmail.com. And we can set up a call and go from there. Okay. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you tomorrow with another, oh, there she goes, daily dose of guidance. <laughs>